if you use the Android messaging app on your phone, and you'd also like to build a message from your computer, Google now has the messaging app for the computer. To use it, open up your web browser and go to messaging.google.com. Once you go there, it'll bring you up to this web page. It'll say text on your device by pairing your phone. And what you do at that point is you go to your phone, you open up your messaging, click the hamburger menu, click where it says device pairing. Now it's going to ask you to click the QR code. And that's it. You're ready to go. Now up here, it's going to ask you, remember this computer and you can click yes. And that way, every time you open it, it'll remember. Now, if you want to have it forget, click on the three dots, you can click on unpair, and then you'll just have to go back through the same process again. The interface is identical to the phone app. So it'll be easy to navigate for you. The cool thing about the computer is you can cut and paste text. You can paste in pictures. In Chrome, you can click the star and add a bookmark to your bookmark bar. Then when you close the tab, just go to your bookmark bar, click on the link, and you're right there ready to start texting again. I'd love to hear your comments if you're using this and what you think about it. That's how you use Google Messages for your computer on the web browser. There's no information I could find about Messages Google app for Windows. But what's interesting is, if you have the messaging app open and you go to these three little dots up here, there's something that says Install Messages. And if you click that, it'll say, it'll prompt you and say Install App. And if you click Install, it installs a Windows app, but there's no information on it on the web. If you go over to installed apps and sort by date, you'll see messages is right here and it's by Google. So if you know anything about that, I'd love to hear about it. I know a lot of people were waiting for the Windows app to come out, but there's been no information on it. Let me know if you're using this app. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below.